The road to greatness is alight with the wailing of broken soldiers and the whispered weeping of their women. Yet the men who are the cause of this suffering must pay them no heed. The Chola dynasty is like the elephant of the forest, a beast that can thrive only by wrecking the weeds beneath it as it marches through the undergrowth. Like the elephant, we must seize whatever opportunity we find to grow stronger, even when it means crushing those who stand in our way. My father never tires of telling me this story, but I doubt that I will pass it on to my son when the time comes to teach him the ways of emperors. Our family has ruled parts of Tamil country for over a thousand years. Other dynasties rose and fell in the time that it took our ancestors to blink, yet greatness continued to elude us. That all changed when my father came to power. As a newly crowned ruler, he took the name Raja Raja, the King of Kings, a name that turned out to be prophetic. He has conquered many of our neighbors and turned the small Chola kingdom into a powerful empire an empire which I am set to inherit. It is my destiny to be as great a ruler as him, perhaps an even greater one. Despite his many accomplishments, there is a shadow in his gaze. He has achieved the greatness that he sought, but in doing so, he has become corrupted by darkness. He tries to instill this darkness in me with these fables of greatness through domination but I do not believe that greatness and corruption are inseparable. History is evidence enough. After carving out his vast empire, Ashoka, greatest of all rulers, turned to a life of service to his people. He built hospitals for the sick and dug wells for the thirsty. Rich and poor alike throve during his reign. Is that not true greatness? To not just rule, but to rule justly? Father just shakes his head whenever I tell him this, or laughs at me if he is in a good mood. Yet he has given me a chance to prove him wrong. We are at war with our old rivals, the Chalukian dynasty, and he has tasked me with invading their lands. I will wage a just war. When I return to Tanjavor, Raja Raja will know what his son is capable of. We have reached Chalukian lands. I would say that the grass is greener on this side of the river, if I could see it. The night is our ally, your highness. The main Chalukian army is sleeping nearby, and if we tread lightly, they will never know that we were here. In the Ganame Pohirin. Sariya, Apadiye. These peasants supply the Chalukian soldiers with food. If we clear out the garrisons, we could deprive our enemy of supplies. Sorry. The Chalukias have constructed a forward Sorry. camp near the river. If we seize it, we could put them on the defensive and delay their attacks. Sorry, yeah. Well done, men. When morning comes, we shall use this fort to launch our attacks on the Chalukian army.
We have done all that we can to undermine the Chalukyas. Now, let us destroy them in battle. Our allies in Vengi will attack from the east at your command, Yuvaraja. But their forces are not as strong as ours. We should coordinate our attacks with them, lest the Chalukyas divide our armies and conquer them piece by piece. The capital of Manyaketa is the jewel of the Chalukian dynasty. And treasure stolen from Chola lands fill their universities. We should plunder them and humiliate the Chalukyas. Sari, in the Ganame Pogirin. Sari, ya? Apadiye. Sari, ya? In the Ganame Pogirin. But if you were to rebuild our military buildings, we would be willing to aid you in the fight against the Chalukyas. Little we can spare. So, my own peasants have decided to supply the enemy. Very well. I shall repay their loyalty in kind.
This is not over, Yamachula. Chula. Sorry. You can batter my Sorry, armies yeah. and pillage my cities, but you will never Aap crush padhiye. the Chalukya dynasty. Mongol Siddham. Your Highness, Sorry. I have received terrible news. Your father, Raja Raja, has passed away. What? This... This cannot be. In the Ganame Pogirin. I must return to Tanjavar at once. I leave the army in your hands, General. Sorry. Show us a without a leader. Let us cast off their yokes Sorry, and avenge yeah. those whom we lost to their invasion.
பாத்திரத்தை எடு defile the jewel of my empire in Munir. this manner have you no honor aayudhai yedu victory is ours take whatever plunder you Munir. can find men in the ganame pogi let us return home we have an emperor to mourn and a new one to celebrate days and nights merged into a restless blur as i rode back to tanjavar my mind was empty as if every thought and emotion had hidden in corners beyond my reach it was not until i came into the palace and saw my father's body that i woke to find that the nightmare was real the king of kings was dead seeing my father's cold gray face knowing that he would never tell another tale about the elephants of the forests i wept for the first time since i was a boy he had died of old age a quick painless death his wives told me as if the abruptness with which he had left the world was any consolation for his departure As soon as the tomb guarding his ashes had been sealed, the crown was thrust upon my head. I had longed for this day, but grief clouded whatever joy the occasion should have brought. For the common soldier, dying is small fry. Suffer as they might, they know that it is their destiny to die for their betters. But when you are among the men whose fate it is to shape the world, when every potential future that you could have created flickers out of existence as you gasp your final miserable breath dying is too much it will be long before this pain subsides yet i must rule in spite of it <laughs>